perhaps my aim is one point. My aim is one point, Sister Adams, but it might be two by the time we throw. But uh, my aim is one point. Uh, we're going to go over to Hebrews chapter number five. And we read it this morning, but I want to revisit it because I don't think enough emphasis was placed on it. Uh, and I think it's something that we will be able to see in these two verses that I want to read in your hearing. Hebrews, the fifth chapter. Hebrews chapter number five, and I want to reread verse number eight and verse number nine. Uh, look what the Bible says. The Bible says, though he were a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered, and being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him. Uh, I, I, I want to talk to you for a few moments from the topic, uh, taking up your cross, taking up your cross. As we look at taking up our cross, I'm reminded of what Jesus told us in Matthew, the 16th chapter. Uh, shortly, uh, the Bible says, when, when Jesus told his disciples, if anyone will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. And then verse number 25, he says, for whoever will save his life, will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Mm -hmm. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeits his soul? Or what shall a man give in return for his soul? When we look at our text in conjunction with what we talked about on this morning, the way that we mature, the way that we find our life in Christ Jesus is the things that we are willing to go through and put up with for the sake of the kingdom of God. Uh, it's not the fact that you just suffer. It's the fact that you are suffering for the kingdom of God. As we said already, the Bible tells us if we're going to live in this life, you're going to experience suffering. Amen. Sinners suffer. They get blowouts on the side of the road. Uh, um, they have to go to the hospital. There's no wing for saints and sinners at the hospital. All of us go through the same though, right? Uh, in this life, you're going to experience some suffering, but what God looks at, if, if you're suffering and sacrificing for the kingdom, that's what's going to count. That's what's going to um, bring us into eternal life. Jesus yes. said, if you lose your life for my sake, mm -hmm. he said, that's the only way you're really going to find fulfillment and find life in this world. Mm -hmm. When you do everything to preserve your life and, and no, I ain't doing all that. I'm not sacrificing. That's all about me. I got to make all the money I can make. I got I to gotta, um, make sure my legacy is set up. I got to make sure that uh, my name has prestige attached to it. He said, now, when you do all that, he said, really, you're going to lose your life. He said, and then he goes on, he says, so what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul. That's right. You gained all the physical stuff, but he says uh, uh, the physical stuff is just temporary. He says, now what are you going to do about eternity? The only way that you uh, get kudos or the only way that you inherit eternal life is sacrificing the temporal for the eternal. All right. Yeah. All right. The kingdom we is is an everlasting kingdom. That's why, that's why it's important what we do. This, this, this has eternal ramifications. Mm -hmm. This is not, it's not just going to die when we die. Right. It don't just go away when we leave the church. No, this is eternal ramifications, what we are a part of. We are part of an eternal kingdom. That's right. yeah. Yeah. That's right. Those who don't know, Jesus is not dead. The Bible says he sits at the right hand of the Father in a seed for us. Mm -hmm. 
And, and that's why when we take these elements, amen, we are communion with him. We're not, this is not a, a sad occasion when we, we got to be so uh, uh, with a somber face and afraid and all that. No, we need to take it reverently, but we need to take it with some joy because he conquered death. Right. He conquered the devil. He conquered hell in the grave. Right. And, and this is not the end of the story. There you go. He said, do this in remembrance of me. Mm -hmm. When you come in your, my kingdom, he says, when I come in my kingdom, I'm going to commune with you. With you. That's what he said. Yes. But the Bible tells us, Jesus, now you got to think about this, Jesus who is perfect, a part of the Godhead. Yeah. The Bible says, in verse number 8, it. he learned obedience through the things he suffered. Mm -hmm. Jesus? Yeah. Perfect one? Mm -hmm. He learned yes, obedience through what he suffered? Yeah. He did it? The perfect one? Yeah. And then when we contrast ourselves with verse number nine, he says the only way that we are going to learn obedience is really through the things that we are willing to suffer and put up with for the sake of the kingdom. Okay, okay, okay. I might as well go ahead and give y'all the big point. Let's turn over to the 11th chapter because sometimes we can't grasp it. We can't grasp it when we're looking at Jesus. Because we don't know how it was to be Jesus. Can't nobody really identify with Jesus. Matter of fact, God will talk to us through what's known as a language of anthropomorphism. Uh, he tried to use human terms so we can grasp uh, what we are dealing with with deity. That's why when we read Isaiah, he says, my thoughts, amen, I'm really not on your level. That's right. I do my best to communicate with you so you can know I love you. Yes, sir. I do my best to try to communicate, but really I'm not on, we don't speak the same language. That's right. That's I, I, I show gestures to show you, but really we don't understand God in his fullness. He give us a glimpse of who he are. We, we don't understand him in his majesty. That's why he says it has not entered into our, our mind. What God has prepared for them that love him. Yeah. He gives us a glimpse. Yeah. Even when we look at revelations. I know we, we talk about uh, uh, the streets paved with gold. That don't even do it justice for what God has prepared for us. Yes, sir. That's just as far as much as we can uh, identify. We can identify with gold because it's precious. We can identify with diamonds because it's precious. But really, we don't understand really what God has prepared for us. Yes, sir. Now, the Bible is talking about Jesus. We really can't. I, see, oh, I've got a cold. I've got a cold. See, sometimes we think, we think, only suffering that Jesus went through is when he died on the cross. Yeah. Yeah. That ain't the only. Jesus yeah. suffered the moment he came in the womb of a virgin. Yes, he, he was deity. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He took a lower position. Yeah. He was deity. Everything that was entitled to the Father was entitled to him. Mm -hmm. He suffered the moment that he agreed to go in the womb of a virgin. He didn't just suffer on that cross. But sometimes we just think that's, that's the only suffering. No, no, Jesus suffered the whole time he was here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, you're right. Yes, sir. Separated from the Father? Yeah. Separated from heaven? Mm -hmm. Separate. And, and I, 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 I'm wound up because sometimes we don't want, amen, we ain't been in heaven. Y'all ain't going to help me up in here. Yeah. We ain't been uh, uh, some of the places that Jesus been. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we are uh, uh, complaining about the, the, the little sacrifices yeah. that he asked us to make. Yes. Yes. Jesus said, now, if you're not willing to take up your cross and lose your identity, lose who you are for the kingdom's sake, he said, really, you don't have nothing to bargain with. Yes. You did your own thing. Mm -hmm. Now you reap what you sow. That's what you won't see how that helped you in, in eternity. Uh, 
That, that, you, you thought that's what it was all about? Okay, see how that helped you on the other side. But I think we can grasp a little of what Jesus did when we look at Moses, who is a type of Christ. Uh -huh. that's it. Uh, uh, let's, look, let's look at Hebrews, the 11th chapter, and we're going to begin our reading at verse number 24. Look what the Bible says. The Bible says, by faith, yeah. Moses, when he was come up to years, mm -hmm. refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, That's right. choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Mm -hmm. Esteem and the reproach for, uh, of Christ greater riches than the treasures in Egypt. Yeah. For he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. By faith, mm -hmm. he forsook Egypt, yeah. not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Oh, yeah. Now, maybe we can't identify with Jesus, but when we look at the life of Moses, mm -hmm. if we put ourselves in Moses' uh, um, situation, could we been sold out enough for Christ to forsake what Moses forsook. Mm -hmm. Coming up in Egypt, known as Pharaoh's grandson. Mm -hmm. Everything was at his hands. Riches, yes. Yes. servants. Mm -hmm. He was looked on as one of them. Yeah, that's right. He was entitled to the throne. Yeah. And, and the Bible says, not based on the external things that he's seen. He will rather identify with the invisible things, which is Christ Jesus, and he suffered with his people. He walked away from some things, and, and, and he sacrificed some things. And, and I stopped by that, and I want to ask the question, are we willing to do the same thing? Now, now if we're going to be the people of God, if we're going to mature, as a church, if we're going to take this church to another level, there has to be some sacrificing on our behalf if we're going to take the church to the next level. You can't just sit in your ivory tower on uh, 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 beds of ease and think the kingdom of God is going to uh, 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 expand in this region of the country. It's going to take us turning some uh, turning our back on some things of the world yeah. mm -hmm. in order to carry out the mission of Christ. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know we want both, mm. but sometimes you can't have both. That's yeah. right. So, yeah. yes, sir. I know you want to watch the football game, mm -hmm. but church is taking place. Yeah. Yeah. You got to suck DVR. Mm -hmm. Watch it on Monday. Watch it on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Video, you still got a video recorder? VCR, amen. <laughs> but but you're going to have to sacrifice some things for the kingdom of God. Okay. And that's what I'm about to tell somebody as well. Don't get mad or don't get envious. Don't get jealous of people when you see people being blessed. Amen. Amen. See, sometimes we don't know people's story, but we see their glory. Yeah, yeah. We don't know what they sacrifice to be at the level they, they at. You don't know what sacrifices they make. You don't know where they could have been, but they chose the kingdom of God to be where they at. And, and some of us, we get jealous, we get envious, but you wasn't willing to make the sacrifice. You don't know the sacrifice that people made to get where they are. And, and you envious and jealous. Yeah. You show up in chapter 20, and now, now you worried about day chapter 1, but you don't know about what took place right. through chapter 1 yeah. through 19. Amen. I was encouraged yeah. on yesterday when I talked to Brother Green. Yes. And we talked for quite a while, but one of the things he shared with me, and I was encouraged by, uh, he, he's a motorcycle advocate. And, and uh, he, he showed me his beauty. He was like, this is it right here. Clean, 
chrome everywhere. I'm like, that's nice. I don't even like bikes. I ain't never, I'm scared to get on one because I ain't never rode one. I ride mopeds, amen. I don't do all the clutches and all that. Nice bike. I'm like, that's nice. He was like, man, but I, I'm going to tell you what, Henry. This is my fourth bike. He said the first one I had, was it the first one or the second one? The second one he had, he said, now, Henry, I love that bike. But he said, I seen that it was keeping me away from the worship service. Mm. He said, so I decided to sell the bike because I would want to ride it on Sunday. Mm -hmm. I don't want to come to church. I want to ride my bike out. He said, so I sold it so I can be at church. He said, then when I mature, Sister Green let him buy another one. Y'all ain't saying nothing. <laughs> when he matured, he said, that I'm, I'm going to sacrifice the thing that's keeping me from God. Yeah. And, and I was encouraged by that because sometimes we don't know the sacrifices that people have made. Yeah. There you go. We, we, we just assume that it's always been this way. Yeah. Yeah. But the Bible says, the Bible says, we mature through the things that we endure for the kingdom. Amen. Moses was ready. He put it all on the line. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm calling. No, sir. Go ahead. And his brothers didn't understand it. That's right. He showed up. He wasn't even suffering. He was okay. He was, a, he was good. He was set for life. But he seen the condition of his brothers. Yes, sir. That's it. And when he showed up, instead of his brothers embracing him, getting online, how, how, how can we help you right? We can't live better than this. We can't live above this. The Bible says they had a lot of talk. Yeah. Are you going to slew us like you slew that Egyptian? Oh, yes. Lord have mercy. And you don't know what Moses gave up yes. to come and help you. Yeah. Uh, are you going to slew us mm -hmm. like you did that Egyptian? You don't understand the sacrifice. See, you weren't willing to leave the palace. You trying to get to the palace. <laughs> but Moses already was in the palace. Yes. But he seen that the connection with God was better than being in the palace. Yes. That's why David was able to say, I'd rather be a doorkeeper. In the house of God than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. Yes. Yes. See, we don't know the story of it. Some people had to turn their back on family members. Yeah. Yeah. Some people had to turn their back on jobs. Some people had to turn their back on as a vacation that we esteem so high. Yes. You don't know the sacrifices that people have made for the kingdom of God. But my question on tonight is, are you willing to make a sacrifice? Are you willing to uh, take up your cross and follow him? That's the question on tonight. That's the question. Are you willing to sacrifice? See, it's something about sacrifice. When we sacrifice, the Bible says we mature. Mm -hmm. But also, it jails us together. Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, I know I'm telling the truth. Yes, sir. I know I'm telling the truth. Hebrews, the 13th chapter, verse number 15. It says, offer up praises, the sacrifice, the fruit of your lips. Mm -hmm. When we come together, if only one person make a sacrifice with their lips, the church can't go to the level it needs to go to in worship. That's right. But when all of us make yeah, yeah, the yeah. sacrifice with the fruit of our lips, then our worship goes to a whole nother level. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if only one person making a sacrifice when it comes to visiting the sick, mm -hmm. the church cannot go to the level it needs to go to, and to all of us are willing to make the sacrifice that it takes for us to go to another level. Amen. Amen. And if we're going to go to another level, mm -hmm. it's going to take some sacrifice when that train come around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, it, it's time out for uh, 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 um, 
tipping God Amen. and tithing to the restaurant. Look at him. Oh, let me show you how that look. Let me show you how that look. We, we tip God. We give him a couple dollars. But then when we at the restaurant, oh, how much is the bill? And one divided by two. And how much is it? 15%. So that's, that's $30. Mm -hmm. We tithe places, tithe at the restaurant, make sure everything is equal, make sure everything is just. And then when we come to the house of God, we want to tip God. It's time out for giving God what's left. You need to give him what's right. You need to give him according to how he bless you. Not tipping God. You, oh, you think God already told us. He said, if I was hungry, I wouldn't ask you. He said, you really ain't doing no big deal. I don't care how much you put in that tray. You ain't doing me no favor. He said, I own a, a cattle on a thousand hills, and low-key the hills are mine. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, you doing me a favor because you put you put five extra dollars in there. God supposed to be like, oh, 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 I feel that one. <laughs> nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Do what's right. Yes, Amen. Yes, Amen. Yes, it's through sacrifice that we mature. Mm -hmm. yeah. If we ain't willing to make a sacrifice, we never going to be the brother or sister that God is calling us to be. Mm -hmm. we, 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 need, we, we can't shortchange God Amen. and then think that we're going to mature. Amen. We got to sacrifice in our time, mm -hmm. <clears throat> in our treasure, mm -hmm. and in our talent. Yes. 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 Amen. Some of us have abilities. Mm -hmm. That can help the church. Yes. Oh, I'm, 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 I got to close because it's, 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 it's starting to, it's starting to get there. Amen. Come on, sir. We was a part of other organizations. Mm -hmm. we, we don't that. mind helping them. We need that. Help us. Come on, sir. In a sorority or a fraternity, oh, call on me. Oh, I'm about to really mess with y'all. Some of y'all been in lodges, mm. part of unions. Uh, you don't mind paying your do dues. Part of stuff, and, and, and they call on you. Oh, I'm, I'm coming. I got it. And, and you didn't mind yielding your time, your treasure, and your talent to worldly things. And then when you get in the kingdom of God, you ain't going to present your body as a living sacrifice. God says, no, I see all that. Amen. Yeah. And I'm a jealous God. Yeah. Yeah. That's why, Brother Allison, you know why I preach? Amen. Because God was so merciful for, to me when I was doing the deeds of the devil. Yeah. And, and now if I turned up for the devil, I'm going to turn up for God. And I had some type of fearlessness, uh, Sister uh, Anderson. I probably was on my way to hell, but I had some type of fearlessness. Uh, I'm knowing all this stuff can take place, but yet it's still I did it. Amen. Amen. But now I'm in the kingdom of God. Now I'm going to get scared. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. They ain't going to like me. The devil is a lie. What come, let it come. If I perish, I perish. Yes. But I'm going to perish for the kingdom of God. If any man suffer as a Christian, yes. Yes, sir. take up our cross. I don't know about y'all. I shouldn't even have to preach. That's why I was planning to do a short message. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's all right. How many people want them Sister Brown House? Just raise your hand. If you didn't make it, that's, that's okay. When we went... Yes, sir. I called her on the way. She didn't know. I, I called her when we was in. I was like, Sister Brown, we about to come over there. I was like, it's quite a few of us. I was like, I just want to let you know. I'm getting your heads up. She didn't know how many people was coming. But when we showed up, she was overwhelmed. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. They haven't forgot about me. Amen. There's still love in the church. Yes, sir. The sacrifices I made did come. All that wasn't in vain, they noticed it. And I, I'm still a sister and brother in Christ. Yes, now, now yes, me and a couple of other people would have could have went, but the fact of all of us making sacrifice to go, yeah. Amen. That's it. Amen. It took it to a whole nother level. Yes. Yeah. 
And as a result, I'm closing, Sister Gainey. You probably, you probably didn't notice. But we parked in that um, parking lot, mm -hmm. and there were some neighbors way over yonder. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wonder what's going on over there. Did Brother Brown die? Jesus. Because they think the church only show up with something half as bad. Jesus. Why we can't be proactive in coming, bringing good news and bringing good tidings? I talked to the lady across the field and I said, no, I'm coming to you. Drove over there. No, ain't nothing bad happening, Brother Brown is intact. Amen. We from the Hartsfield Church of Christ, we love each other. We love our members. Amen. You need to come and visit us. Uh -huh. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Middle, uh, 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 middle school. Yes. Yes. 901 Bobo Newsom Highway. There you go. Uh, yes, sir. Here's the car. Yes. Amen. Okay, we gonna try to come. But what brought them out, what brought interest, is us making a sacrifice collectively. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's right. That's what got their attention. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and I'm, I'm closing. Mm -hmm. It's going to take all of us making a sacrifice if we're going to take yes, the church to the next level. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. It's time out for Sunday and Wednesday church. Yes. Time out for it. Yeah. Amen. That's a, say that. That's a. It's too much work to do for us just to be a, a, a Sunday and Wednesday church. Oh, yeah. and, and all the time, the work don't have to take place here. Amen. How many people got a mobile phone? Yes, sir. How many people got a mobile phone? Come on, I, I need to be for real. I, I need to count. Amen. Because we about to we about to put this into practice even on tonight. Even on tonight. Even on tonight. I, I think the house is saved. I think the house is saved. But uh, on tonight. Faith come by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Yes. Whatever way we've been thinking contrary to the word of God, we need to repent of it. Yes. Uh -huh. We need to change our heart. If we've been thinking contrary to the word of God, if we haven't put the Lord on the baptism, we got to be willing to do that. Yeah. Forsake the world. Forsake all others for the kingdom's sake. And the Bible says God will add us to the church. Yeah. Gives us the gift of the Holy Spirit. Puts us in the family of God. Go on and be faithful. Christ is the head of the church. You're a part of the body. Be faithful. I will never leave you nor forsake you. On tonight, we're going to sing the song of encouragement. Then we want to make this practical. We, gonna, we just want to hear. If you got a prayer request, we want to hear from you. But if you don't, we're going to go into uh, uh, our practicality on tonight. Uh, let's, let us be standing. Let us be standing. Two nine and